friends, it's Samarillis. Today we're going to be playing more of Wild Season. And today is Sunday, Spring 15. I missed Frank's birthday, and nothing happened on Bouquet Day, but today is Jessica's birthday. So, man, I really hope I can get something nice for Jessica, because she's been very kind to me. She gave me flowers yesterday. So, uh, man, even if I have to buy something, like... I don't have anything to give her. I honestly don't have anything to give her. And the general store only has very basic items, so I don't know what to do. But, um, hey, who's that? Cloud. Hmm. Ah. Seriously? How many strange people are going to show up on your farm anyway? Alright, what should you do? I'll call out to him. You decide to call out to him. Oh, you're up. I hope I didn't wake you. My turnips are growing at least. You're Ms. Samarillis, right? My name is Cloud Johnson. I'm an IT support specialist with progressive computing. We're based out of the city, but I come to the district during the week to help maintain the internet and sell your infrastructures out here. Someone else from the city actually comes out to this place? I, uh, don't think I've had anyone see, ever had someone this happy to see me before. When you're in IT, everyone loves to see you. Well, as long as you fix the IT problem. Missing the city, I'm guessing? Yeah, I can see how this is a big adjustment. Anyway, I was making my rounds a few days ago and was surprised to see lights on in the house. When the doctor moved in, the mayor was very upfront about what tech he needed, but he never gave me a call about you. Of course he didn't. I'm not sure why. Must have been busy. Anyway, I took it upon myself to get you all set up. Ooh, thank you. I have a cell phone! You received a phone. For free? Though so honestly, it doesn't look like much. When I asked around about your name, I heard you and I are from the same place, so this one is probably a ridiculous downgrade from what you're used to. But they're the only dang things that seem to work around here. This weird thing is that every other place in the district works just fine, so honestly, I spend a lot of my time here in Bedford. Here, could you take out the phone for me and see if it has any bars? That's what I thought. Here, can I see it for a sec? Hmm. It just makes no sense. Dr. Hayes a year back asked how the reception was here, and... Oh, Dr. Hayes was a doctor here in Bedford before Dr. Jansen. People kind of thought she was a bit of a cook, but brilliant. Real brilliant. Anyway, the reception wasn't great, but you could at least get some text or a call out. Now it's just de dead? Destroyed? Oh, it's back! Wish this place could just decide whether it was a dead zone or not. Here's your phone back. You received a phone! Again. It's ridiculously easy to use, so I won't bother you with a ton of instructions. As soon as I figure out why everything's so odd around here, I'll let you be the first one to get a smartphone, alright? If you need me or have any questions, I'm usually in town on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at around 10 a.m. So Cloud is from the city like me. I'm just writing this down. There's a lot of people to remember, and it's tough for me. And he's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 a.m. I'm usually at the mayor's or the clinic, but Stephen Giles helped me with some of the internet issues, so I'm around the animal store a lot too. Wow, why can't you just have a schedule? So, mayor, clinic, animal store. Maybe the animal store has worms. Oh, and I also put my cell in your phone just in case. Well, it was nice meeting you, Ms. Samarillas. Have a good one. And, uh, good luck with everything. Thanks, dude. You're a pretty nice guy. You have a cell phone now. You only have Cloud's number right now, but as you get to know more people in town, your contacts will fill up in no time. You know, if you're able to get to know more people in town. Something that at the moment seems unlikely at best. Well, back to work, you guess. Don't know, group cheap. Okay, let me just water my turnips. I hope you're supposed to water them every day, because um, I remember in Life is Strange, like, you could water your plant every day, but if you did, you ended up drowning it. 
so hopefully this isn't that kind of mechanic. I wonder how fast turnips grow. Okay. I want to get something nice for Jessica because Jessica was very nice to me. I can see if the animal store sells worms. This is just this is just a house, right? This isn't the animal store. Oh, this is Maya's house. Hey, Maya's in today. She seems to really like fashion. Good morning. What are you doing here? You can't just come barging in like this. It's rude. You shouldn't leave your door unlocked. What are you doing here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Maya seems to like fashion. So hopefully I can warm up to her. Or she can warm up to me sometime. Okay, but I really want to get something for Jessica. Because it's her birthday. Ooh, animal store. I don't know what she'd like. I think the animal store is closed today, maybe. Oh. Take care of it. You know, feed your animal once a day. Wow, all the text seems to kind of get cut off. Um, I gotta talk to them once a day. <laughs> Engaging conversation. Um, brush them once a day. Pick up your animal once a day. I can't pick up a cow. Uh, your animal can become sick. Let them outside during sunny days. <laughs> Livestock empire. Okay. Tuesday through Sunday, 9 to 5. Oh, it's too early right now. Is this the mountain? West outskirts. I haven't been out here before. Pick up grass. West outskirts. Wow, I have no idea where I am. This is kind of exciting. Okay, can't go down. Maybe this is where you go mining. Why can't I go in? Okay. It's very dark. Mining cave entrance. Well, I don't have a hammer, so I can't do anything. Mining cave. Yeah, I can't do anything in here. Uh, can't do anything because I have no money. I'll come back when I have a hammer. Oh, do you want to go back to the entrance? Yes, I do. Okay, well, good to know that there's a little mine over here, and I access it from the mountain. Can I, honestly, can I not pick up things? It's a tree, you knew that, move on. <laughs> okay, I don't know if any stores will be open on a Sunday. Maybe I should have saved the pancakes for, um... For Jessica, I should have saved them. Because now there's nothing for me to get. The store's not open, right? Wait, how do I access my cell phone? Okay, I'll cell phone. Oh, it's not in the shortcuts. Uh, profile? Why is my blood changing? I swear I put down A. Maybe it changes based on the answers you choose. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Why should your blood type change based on the answers you give? That's weird. Uh, seeds, key items. Where do I access my cell phone? Okay, I don't want 
wanna spoil myself. I don't know where to use my cell phone. How do I use my cell phone? Well, Jessica, I don't have anything. <gasps> Maybe I can buy flowers. I forget when her store was open. When Lily's store was open. I might as well check. Nope. Tuesday, Saturday, Saturdays. Gosh darn it. Oh, that's not Jessica, that's her mom. Good morning! Why don't you visit the city every now and then? Don't worry, your friend will be here for you when you come back. Wow. See you around, I'm sure. I don't know where Jessica would be. Is she out on the beach? I honestly don't know where to find Jessica otherwise. Oh, hey there. Good morning, Maribel. So Denise brought over some turnips from the farm the other day and mom put them in a great salad. I know turnips aren't too popular to eat anymore, but who cares when they're that good, right? I hate it when, yep. <laughs> I always put flowers over there. Yo. Hey, it's Lily. Lily and Jessica. Oh, good morning, Maribel. I do hope you enjoy Bedford, even if you do decide to stay only temporarily. It's a nice town. Take care of yourself for me, okay? If you need anything, just let me know, alright? I'd be happy to help you. I don't have anything to give to Jessica, even though it's her birthday. And I'm not gonna, like, give her the flowers she gave me again. I don't know where to get worms, so I can't even fish, even though I have a fishing rod now. There's Jason, there's Rosalind. Hi. Hmm. What can I do? Here's the port. Oh, it's open. I can't go in. Strange. Diego, can I buy worms from you? I don't know where to get worms. Oh, hey there. Gavin! Hey, what's up? Anytime you're feeling sick, swing by the clinic, alright? Maya and I will take real good care of you. <laughs> that doesn't sound comforting at all. Yep. Hmm. I just want to buy fish. Or not buy fish. 
fish, but buy worms so I can catch fish. If I try to use my fishing rod without any bait, what happens? Nothing happens. Hmm. Honestly, not having anything to do makes this not fun. Like, <laughs> like I'm just watering my turnips like once a day and then running around town where everyone's not happy with me. Maybe I'll just go to the forest anyway. I know I'm just on the beginning as a friendship with Jessica, but honestly, there's nothing else to do. Oh, let me check the animal store for worms. Hey, Steven. What do you want? I want to buy... Those are just animals. Is it feeds? A brush, a milking tool. I wish it said how much things were on the items, so I like I don't even have to click into them and know how much. Yeah, this is pointless. Never mind. Maybe it's in the general store. Okay, that's it. I'm just I'm going into the forest. None of the villagers like me, except maybe Jessica, and Frank, and Cloud. It doesn't matter. I want to make friends, but if everyone is going to be mad at me anyway... Let me just go all the way and go into the forest. Oh, hey! Hello! Whenever it's sunny out, I always do the laundry. Yep, she has nothing to talk about. <laughs> okay. Morbid curiosity. I can't... I can't go? I thought it would let me go anyway. Nothing to do. I'll do any sort of odd job. Like, just... <laughs> I need money! Can't do anything without money. There's no items to pick up. I can't fish because I ran out of the... I squandered the few worms I had. Can't farm. I don't know. Can't pick up items. I mean, at this rate, I might as well just go to sleep. Like, there's nothing to do. sure what you expected to find by wandering around in this tall grass. Maybe a Pokemon! No wild creatures, you hope. I don't know what to do. I can't afford any animals because I have no money. Uh-oh. Why is it freeze? Okay, there was a save. I freaked out for a second. <laughs> Here's 
nothing to do. It's weird that they let you go into the hospital when no one's even here. Why was I put in the hotel when they have beds in the hospital? Like, I was just in a car crash. Why wouldn't they put me in the hospital? Nobody's here. Oh, it's Sunday. Maybe I can go to church. Hello, dear. Did I miss church service? I hope you have a pleasant day. Let me know if you need anything. I'd be happy to help. Hey, good afternoon, Larry the Two-Faced. I sell green seeds every once in a while, but those are for advanced farmers. And man, I do not see any of those around here, do you? Yeah, fun now on your puny little farm, alright? Someone might as well be having a blast there. Wow, so passive aggressive. Tired of pulling weeds yet? Man, good luck. <laughs> You're so mean. No one's in church. Maybe I should have come here in the morning. Oh well. Graveyard? Nope. Seriously, if there's nothing else to do, I might actually just go to sleep right now because, like, there's nothing to do. I can't even talk to dogs! office. Hi, Mayor. Good afternoon. Mm. I'm definitely not going to talk to Rosalind again. Ready to risk it all and go to the forest, but the game won't let me. It's a weird little area. Am I stuck? <gasps> Shoot. Please let me out. I thought it was weird you could go in here. Okay, phew, got out of there. I can't do anything, it's boring. I check my crops. 
can't check them. Whatever, I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, well, thanks for watching me play another episode of Wild Season. There wasn't much going on today at all. So, thank you for tuning in anyway. It's Samarillis, and I hope you have a great day. Remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Bye-bye.